When Elon was expressing interest in buying Twitter, I said, okay, I'm gonna create a Twitter account. And so I created a Twitter account and a fake name. And the first thing I noticed was this obsession with number of followers. Everybody wants more followers. Um, and I was shocked. Uh, it's like the more followers you have, the more important what it is you have to say is perceived to be. I, I don't know. But everybody wants more followers. Then I found a lot of third parties who will provide you with followers. You just pay for them. So I created my fake account and I paid less than $1,000 US and my fake account had over 100,000 followers. All fake. And these are created using bots and fake accounts uh, to serve this demand for followers. Here's uh, my uh, fake account. You see, I have 100, over 100,000 followers, and look at the quality of the followers. They're obviously fake. <laughs> They're the same picture, right? So these were allowed to persist on Twitter for a long time, and I was shocked that it's, I mean, this is easy stuff to stop, and they weren't, they weren't stopping it. So I also wrote a script. I'm not a programmer, but I wrote it in a weekend just by watching you know, YouTube videos and, and uh, using resources online. So I wrote a script that automatically creates accounts on Twitter, fake accounts, using, it's just a bot, I wrote a bot. And I wanted to see what countermeasure I would encounter. And I didn't, I didn't encounter a countermeasure. So then I made my bot really stupid. Uh, I did the magic mouse. I, I typed lightning fast. Um, I came from the same IP address. And finally I encountered this. And you've already seen how easy it is to defeat all forms of CAPTCHA. And this is what Twitter was doing to try and stop bots. All I needed to do was come from a different IP address in this one way. I didn't even need to use 2CAPTCHA to solve this. So they have no effective countermeasure. Also, Twitter has a reverse incentive, right? They don't really want to know how many fake accounts they have because of daily active users. They play a role in the valuation. The more users they have, the more money their company is worth. You can't be the guy saying, give me 10 data scientists and you know a million dollars in funding, and I'm gonna prove that 80% of our accounts are fake. You, you're not, they're, you're not gonna get that funding. They don't they have a reverse incentive. They don't wanna know how many bots there are. Here's a social engineering site, or uh, I mean, a social networking site. Um, all, everything in yellow are bots. These are successful logins, not a grand stuffing attack. These are bots controlling the accounts they created. 93%, um, and depending on how you bucket, it's as high as 99%. So we see this across social networking uh, sites. Here's a create account attack. You have to really zoom in, 70,000 hourly humans, 30 million per hour are bots. Think about that, coming in one day and finding you have an extra billion accounts. So I, asserted that 80% of Twitter accounts are likely fake. That's what I asserted, and it got lots of media attention, typically abroad. The US media wasn't interested in doing anything that would help Elon Musk at all. But there are the reasons why I considered it. Uh, we wrote a blog, and the, uh, oh, by the way, the question is who cares about fake followers, right? Who, who cares if somebody has fake followers? I don't care. But that whole ecosystem can be abused by state actors Okay, they can create millions of fake accounts. Think about the influence you could have over public opinion. You could bury truths, amplify lies if you had programmatic control over millions of social media accounts. So it's that ecosystem that is exploited. That's the concern I have. So we wrote a blog where I stated that eight and 10 are likely fake. Uh, that got picked up by the Australian. I did an interview in Australia with the Australian. And then that got picked up by Elon Musk and he actually tweeted my picture, which isn't part of the article. So someone on his team got the article, then sought out a picture of me on the, on the web, which isn't hard to find, even though I'm not on social media. You just do Danwood's F5 and you get lots of pictures. And he tweeted, and I, I didn't know that he did this until my phone just exploded and complete strangers were asking me to take pictures of me. That had never happened before. But since then, now I have 11,000 followers. Look how real they look, right? So what Elon did is he, he got all the low-hanging fruit. He got rid of Q. Um, he got rid of that one. But he still has a little ways to, he still has a little ways to go. And now when I do an interview with uh, US media, I say, look, Elon's done a great job getting bots down, but he's got, he still has some work to do. The quote they put is that Elon, uh, Dan Woods says that the, Twitter still has a huge bot problem. <laughs> not quite what I said, but they do not want to say anything nice about Elon Musk. <laughs>